In the package, you will find the following parts. Be sure to use gloves to avoid grease, sweat, and dirt. Put the two long and two short inner frames on clean area in the sharp of a screen frame. Make sure the springs do not drop out from the frames. Insert the L corner piece and L elbow joint into one short inner frame. Fix the L corner piece firstly. Then, insert the other side of L corner piece and L elbow joint into one long inner frame. Assemble four inner frames in the same way. Use 24 screws to fix the corner pieces, L elbow joints, and inner frames. Use four screws to fix the vertical beam to the long inner frames. Lay the cloth liner on a clean floor. The Starbright CLR material is very delicate and should be handled with extreme care. Do not fold or bend it. Remove Starbright CLR material out of the packaging tube and put it on the cloth liner. It is strongly recommended that two persons unroll the material to prevent fold and bent. Each person should hold one end and unroll clockwise the material slowly. Carefully and gently put the assembled inner frame on the screen material. Insert the long and short fiberglass rods into the edges of the screen material. Set the position of the inner frame. Make sure the edges of the screen material can cover the edge of the frame. Scatter the springs so that they correspond to the holes. The spare springs should be in the middle of the frames. One hole on the short inner frame matches two springs. One hole on the long inner frame matches one spring. Hook the corner springs firstly. Order of the hooking is 1 1, 2 2, 3 3, 4 4, then 5 5, 6 6, 7 7, 8 8. Put the outer frames along the four edges of the screen material. Make sure nameplate and downside label should be in the same side. Clamp outer frames on the screen material. Check the four gaps in the corner. Make sure they are the same size. Use 16 screws to fix the frames. Long frames need five screws and short frames need three screws. Set the four corner sleeves on four corners. When they fit the outer frame completely, you could fix the eight screws. The corner sleeve is made of plastic. Please use less than 0.3 Nm, less damage day. stretched. If there has a wrinkle, you need to rehook the springs. You will need the following tools to mount the screen. 
The minimum width of wall is 2.55 meters. The minimum height of wall is 2.2 meters. For the optimal viewing experience, we recommend a viewing distance of 3 meters. If the customer is using a TV stand, we recommend to use one that is about 500 millimeters tall and wide enough to hold the TV. In the package, you will find the following parts. Starting from the top of your TV stand, add 1,489 millimeters above it to get the height of the two top holes. Mark the height into the wall. The distance between two level holes is 830 millimeters. The distance between two vertical holes is 175 millimeters. On the marks, drill holes for the four screws using an 8 millimeter diameter drill bit. Hammer the drill bolts into the holes. Install the brackets with the screws and firmly tighten them. Install the wands. Concave faces are installed relatively. The screws are installed from the big holes to the small holes. the brackets. Hang the handles onto the wands. We recommend that two people lift the screen. Be sure to use gloves to avoid grease, sweat and dirt. Place the screen on the ground. Look down on the screen. If it is white, it is in the wrong direction, so you need to turn it over. If it is black, then it is in the correct direction. Hang the screen onto the mount brackets. Measure the distance from the bottom of the screen and the ground. Make sure it is level. You can adjust the altitude with the handles. Clockwise is to reduce and anti-clockwise is to increase. Place the cabinet on the appropriate position and place the laser TV on the cabinet. Before using this function, please make sure that your laser TV and mobile device are connected onto the same Wi-Fi network. First step, access the settings menu using the remote Choose Auto Geometric Correction. Second step, follow the instructions displayed on screen to adjust the position of your laser TV console as required. Make sure the projected inner frame is positioned inside the screen and outer frame outside the screen before clicking Next. Third step, using your mobile device, please scan the QR code projected on screen to connect the laser TV with your device. Fourth step, click the plus icon on your mobile device to activate the camera, after which a display card will automatically appear on your laser TV screen. Use your mobile device to take a picture of the screen. Upload the picture. Click the finished button and you are ready to go. Nine. 